Uh, you can find me online with HP Dang. Uh, I'm going to talk about my 10-year uh, journey with Force Asia. Uh, a little bit of background. I come from Vietnam, a city called Kento. It's about 170 kilometers down of uh, Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, so 10 year journey. So I want to talk first about my first 19 years, from 1987 to 2006. So I labeled this period in the period before fourth. And I don't remember so much about this time, but there are a few things that I would like to highlight here. The first thing is that uh, my grandparents never gave me a birthday present, not me or my sister, because my father was the only son that who did not have any son. So because of still the Chinese Asian mindset, they more refer to have a grandson than a granddaughter. So my grandparents never uh, gave us a birthday present. Uh, the second uh, thing is no weekends. My parents worked really hard. They never have a weekend off so that my sister and I can have a proper education and better future. Uh, the third thing that I remember, I always want to enroll in a dance uh, team in school, but actually not everyone allowed to participate in this course, only the people who have very good background from noble families, their, their parents have a good uh, uh, reputation, then they got selected by the school to be the elite group of the school, so we don't have, get a chance to do the things that we like. Uh, my, even my sister and I, we sometimes got bullied by the schoolboy. Uh, not something major, but that we, we just don't feel comfortable around the, these people, but just as good. And the, the second thing I remember, they always dream to travel outside of the country. And until I finished, complete my university, I, do, I did not know what I want to do in life. So I did not figure out what would be the vision for my life. And then this is the period after I learned about for 2007 until now. So I can buy myself a birthday present if I want to. I can buy 10 or 20, but I never did because shopping consumes a lot of time. My parents now, they have a Sunday afternoon off. Even though they don't need to work anymore, they're still really hard working. I have my own team at Force Asia, and if I want to join any team, people are very welcome me on board. So I create my own opportunity and seen uh, the past. 12 years, I never got bullied by anyone in the community or anyone whom I work with. I don't dream of traveling anymore because basically I can just travel to anywhere I want. Uh, I have a live vision. I know exactly what I want to, to do and what I want to achieve in life. And now I'm going to go back a little bit about what happened in 2007. So that was the first time I learned about the idea of force at a conference in Hanoi called Force Bridge. And then also in the same year, I switched from Windows XP to Ubuntu. I have the logo there originally, but I thought maybe some people would not be happy, so I covered the logo there, but this is the old logo of so Ubuntu. <laughs> and then I just want to emphasize here, so um, I was really impressed with uh, Ubuntu because of the um, uh, software manager, you can easily download an application, but it was not the only reason that engaged me into the open source community. It's not the software, but actually the people in the community. I learned so much uh, from the developers, and they, I always really surprised how people can be d devoted 20, 15 years at that time into one particular project and create something that being used by the entire world. It is something that really um, got me inspired. And when I joined the community, everyone really welcoming. They don't look at me like that, okay, you don't know anything, we don't talk to you. But uh, the people uh, in the community really spent several hours to explain to you things and try to help you to move forward. This is a picture that I came from yesterday, uh, the Force Asia uh, meetup, and in some of the photos are some of the people that I really like, one of my favorite people in the community, which is sitting here in the fun row, Carson. And because of this community, I meet so many awesome people that what make me engage more in, uh, in open source. In 2009, uh, me and my partner decided that we want to form an organization called Force Asia. It's like community trying to connect people together to work on open technology uh, to help more people in Asia to contribute to open source. And we started our first uh, ever event in Ho Chi Minh City. At that time, it was the Gnome Asia. It was also the first open source event ever in the country. Uh, 1,400 people so up, and we have a lot of interest from, from the young people uh, to get involved. 
And then from 2009, from one event, we organize now many events and meet up throughout Asia. One of our biggest events is in Singapore every year in, um, in March. And throughout the year, we have events in China, India, and many other places. But that's not the only thing we do. So the Force Asia community develop a lot of software by working together. So these are a few of them. You can check out on the Force Asia GitHub. Suzy AI, I'm going to give a talk about Suzy AI tomorrow in the afternoon. Uh, LockLock, which is our um, search, um, uh, Twitter harvest engine. And then we have an Android application that can uh, download your, that upload your photo in different services. Event VA, our own event management system, like to run events and, and many more. In 2010, it was my first time ever enter uh, Europe and was Brussels at that time. I got invited to speak at the Liber Rafis meeting, and it was also a very nice experience for me. Uh, this is a picture that I took with some of the participants. Uh, I believe uh, some of them might be here today, and we are still friends with uh, Keep in Touch uh, since 2010. 2011, for Asia, uh, be part of the G Stock Google Summer of Code. And thank you for the good program. We got a lot of students on board and uh, involved in the, the development of uh, our project. In 2012, we built an open source uh, hotel in, in Vietnam. The idea of this is we try to um, uh, create a place where people can meet, and we host a lot of developers in the community. The game developer, DBN developer, they set our place for, for, for some time. Uh, in the same year, we organized the um, Open Design Week, introduced to the local people how to work with um, uh, open source tool to make uh, art and design. In 2015, I heard about Fostum for, for many years. Uh, the Force Asia Summit also got an uh, aspiration from Fostum, but 2015 was my first time attend the event. And this is some of the picture that I took with the people that I met here. Again, a, um, a good, very nice experience. We got, got to connect with a lot of friends and people that you know from the community. In 2016, the uh, Force Asia ran our first um, season of Code Heat. The idea of this program is to um, guide the young students how to contribute to open source feed, um, uh, pull requests. And every season, we have about 650 to 1,000 participants with a lot of mentors from everywhere. Uh, 2019, uh, recently we released our open hardware device which is uh, called Pocket Science Lab. It is like, um, how do you explain this? Uh, a built-in device with oscilloscope, a logic analyzer, and many other instruments. The firmware is open source. We also create an app, everything open source except for the chip, but it's going to be changed in the next uh, version. In 2018, also um, uh, the first time Fort Asia has an assembly at the CCC. I also gave a talk at the CCC, um, and uh, something that very nicely, I got uh, a sports car sent to the Fort Asia assembly every day at the Congress. So to see that how people are really connected in, in the conference. And um, 2019, in March, are going to be our 10th uh, anniversary. We have going to have a big celebration in Singapore. If by chance you are there, you can come and join us. We are in K Building at the Force Asia stand. If you want to learn more about our project, you can meet us there. <coughs> I think that's it. That's it. Okay, thank you very much. Very well within the time. We have uh, quite some time left, actually. Um, is there some of you that have questions you would like to ask? No? I don't see anyone. Okay. Uh, we host a, a workshop and meet up, regular meet a workshop, like to show people how to use Git or how to work with Python. It's still running. Hotelsoil.com if you want to check it out. Okay. If there's no other questions, I guess we can uh, thank once more. And you can visit the stand in, uh, in Building K if you would like to uh, talk more. So thank you very much. Yes, and I also just want to thank you, the video team, for making uh, the stream and everything possible for everyone to see. Thank you very much. Ah, what's that? 
Sorry, you mentioned very, very casually that you made a hotel. You were talking about small projects and then all of a sudden, and we made a hotel. How did you manage to finance making a hotel or how did you do this? Well, um, the hotel is built in Vietnam, so we already have the land from, uh, from our parents and the labor cost, so we have to calculate like, every time, but it's possible. So it's not like something, a huge project, like what you can Im imagine here, but we very hard working, we have some serving and we have the support of the family, so we make it possible. Okay, that's great. <laughs>